Good evening. An arrest has been made in connection to the murder of a 14-year-old boy. I'm Erica Natividad, just outside Meadow Park, where the young teen's body was found early on Friday morning. Now, Peel Regional Police say they've arrested 20-year-old Nicholas Mahabir. He is charged with second-degree murder. I don't have a specific time, but he was arrested sometime uh, yesterday evening. Police have now confirmed the name of the 14-year-old victim as Riley Driver Martin, a student at Clarkson Secondary School. Constable Irina Yashnik would not comment on the relationship between the victim and the accused. It is an ongoing investigation, uh, but right now all I can confirm is that one man was arrested and charged. Martin is believed to have lived just a short distance from where his body was found on a pathway leading into Meadow Park. Police say for reasons still unknown. He left his home sometime in the evening on Thursday and was found with signs of trauma to his body just before 8 in the morning on Friday. We went to a complex in Mississauga where multiple sources say Nicholas Mahabir lived with his girlfriend, but when we tried to buzz in, no answer. Off camera, neighbors say they see police activity often at that building. One told City News a suspect is well known to the kids in the area. Another neighbor who does not know Mahabir agreed police are at the complex often, but says he doesn't worry about safety. I wouldn't be surprised there's people, well, there's cops there all the time. It happens in Toronto more often than it does here. here and, you know, a lot of times it's not even, I don't find it. I'm not, I've been here for 50 years, mm -hmm. so I haven't had any really big issues. Late today, police issued a warrant for Mahabir's brother, Mark Mahabir, who is wanted on a charge of second-degree murder. We went to what's believed to be his home, but were turned away. I'm wondering, does Nicholas live, or does Mark live here? Meanwhile, this morning, the Peel District School Board opened Clarkson Secondary School, offering emotional support services for the school community in dealing with the grief and tragedy. We're also trying to encourage parents and, and um, guardians to talk to kids in a way that meets them where they are. We know that they're going to be on social media, so we want them to be safe and be respectful and mindful of their posts and how it might have an impact on the family um, of the individual who's passed away. The school says, of course, Monday will not be a regular day for students at Clarkson. Counselors will be available for those who need them. They're also planning on having a memorial table where anyone can leave messages and gifts for the young teen who lost his life. Now, Nicholas made a brief court appearance this morning and was remanded into custody. His case has been adjourned until Wednesday afternoon. Meanwhile, tonight, police continue their search for his twin brother, Mark. He is not to be approached. Uh, you can see behind me that there continues to be a police presence here at Meadow Park. Even this morning, officers were seen canvassing the area, looking for evidence and appealing to witnesses. As always, as this is an ongoing investigation, police are asking anyone who may have information to come forward.